Hi class, let's do some linear algebra. Today we're going to be talking about the advantages of having a diagonal matrix. Let's start with the definition. Definition. A diagonal matrix is a square matrix, say the same number of rows as columns. It's a square matrix, let's say A, with entries little a i j, where little a i j is zero for all i not equal to j. Said otherwise, the only non-zero entries are along the main diagonal where i is equal to j. Let's do an example. Say 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. This is a diagonal matrix because the only non-zero entries are along the main diagonal. While something like 1, 2, 0, 4 is triangular, but not diagonal. Why do we like diagonal matrices? Well, they come with a number of advantages. For diagonal matrices, determinants are easy. So for example, if I wanted to take the determinant of our matrix, because it's triangular, the determinant is going to be the product of the diagonal entries. In this case, we get 1 by 2 by 3, which is 6. In general, the determinant of a diagonal matrix, diagonal matrix is just the product of the diagonal entries. This is much better than non-diagonal matrices or non-triangular matrices. Here's another advantage that you might not already know, that powers are easy. So let's take our matrix again, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. And let's see what happens when we try and square it. This is 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, and the same matrix again. If we were to actually matrix multiply this out, you know, taking the dot product of the appropriate row and the appropriate column, what we'd actually see is that we get one by one in this top left corner. We're going to get two by two here, and we're going to get three by three here. In general, to find uh, a power of a diagonal matrix, you find the power, that power, of the entries. So for example, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, to any kth power is going to be 1 to the k, 2 to the k, and finally 3 to the k down here. Not only are powers easy, but inverses are easy. So say I wanted to find the multiplicative inverse of our diagonal matrix here. What we're going to get is 1, 0, 0, 0, a half, 0, 0, 0, 1 third. So to find, in general, to find the inverse 
of a diagonal matrix find the multiplicative inverse of the, of course, non-zero entries. So in general, for a diagonal matrix, it has A, B, and C down the diagonal. The inverse is going to be A to the negative 1, B to the negative 1, C to the negative 1. And this generalizes to larger diagonal matrices. Okay, so to summarize, diagonal matrices Uh, easy to find the determinant, easy to find powers, and it's easy to find inverses. The problem that we have, of course, is that not all matrices are diagonal. Over the next few videos, we're going to be talking about how to diagonalize a matrix.